Bye, friends. It kept it. It, it kept the camera settings. Again, I don't know why. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, I don't trust it. Hi, it's me, Scott. Uh, happy holidays. Happy uh, end of 2023. And all that. Everyone had a, has, has had and continues to have a good holiday season. Um, I have not been streaming very much. But I don't have a job anymore. So, you know, maybe going into 2024, we'll get some more streaming done. Um, I kind of just want to do a little Sudoku. I'm going to go into the shop later today, I think, and work on the Figaro enclosure that we've been fussing with for the last however long. I don't know where the last week went. Yes, I do. It's Christmas. That's, that's, that's basically where it went. Um, but let's just get into this. I asked Heliopolix, feels like years ago at this point, if I could do this puzzle on stream. So I think we should just, just do it. It looks... It's just it's something about it just is inviting to me. Um, I, I have no concept of how hard it is. It can't be that hard. It's got a bunch of digits in it. It's got to be easy, right? I don't know. Let's go over here. Um, okay, let's pick a... I think there's a good, like, dino... Uh, dino background. Mm, I forgot how to do it. We go here. Do like dinosaur. Okay, there's one dinosaur. By IQ, of course. Um, what about lizard? The dragon egg is kind of cool. I feel like we won't see much of it. I do like it. Those lizards are cute. They're eshery. Um, hmm. I don't like the idea of some scales, though. Maybe there's one that's not so spherical, spherically oriented. Cool scales. They're cool. Something a little more lizardy, you know? We got water dragon scales. Oops. Cool Roy scales. I don't know. Nothing's nothing's leaping out at me at the moment. Those aren't bad. Some simple snaky scales. abstract dragon scale. I thought there would just be like an undulating snake that we would just instantly find it. Eyeball scales. Weird. See, the, those fish scales are the right idea. They just need to be moving. I got to... So at the end of every year slash beginning of every year I do this thing that takes so long where I go through all my journal entries for the year and then write like a summary of the year just to help me sort of like, you know, check in a little bit on where the old, the old life is. And that's fine. It just takes a long time. It's a good thing to do. I think it is a good thing to do. It's a good practice, but man, it takes a long time. Well, um, um, not impressed with the scale offering here. How much is the snake? I need to set some intentions for the new year, you know, need to uh, snake wave. Let's do the snake wave. It looks more like corn on the cob than a snake, but mm, I don't know. I don't love it, but I also just need to move on with my life. If that was green instead of orange, I feel like we'd be in business, but I think we're just going to go with this corn on the cob. Maybe it changes color all the time. It looks like it's got maybe a hue shift happening. Maybe. 
Is it getting more red or am I diluting myself? I think I might be diluting myself. Anyway, let's do this puzzle by Heliopolix. Um, there's so many given digits, I can't even believe it. And we have German Whispers, which we all love. With, with given polarity everywhere. Also shocking. Is this puzzle? Maybe this is just going to be a little treat. A little walk in the park. Circles are odd. Squares are evens. And that's that's all we need to know. So out of practice, though. So I guess let's just go through and mark polarity. High, low, high, low, high, low, low, high, 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 low, high, low, high, high, low, high. What a luxury just to be given uh, to be given polarity like that. Low, 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 low. Next thing you know. Low, 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 low. Oops, and some highs. Low, low, low. These are high. Um. And then we've got like double restrictions here, right? Where this is low and even. So it can only be two or four, but it can't be four because four only goes next to nine, so it just is two. Um, this is high and even, which is either six or eight, but it can't be six because six can only go next to one. There's thousands of eights in this grid. It's shocking. So... I just don't know where to start. I mean, I guess this has to be a nine, right? Because it can't be a seven. The eight over here. Oh, this is, wait, low, high, low, high, low, that's low. So these are odds, which would, these are the only odds, and they're not one or seven. So normally it would be one, three, five, seven, nine, but these are not one or seven. That one, in fact, is not five either. Um, these, that's a six, nine pair. Somewhere in this world is a six. Um, this is two, four, six, or eight, but already sees two and eight. So that is a four or a six. This is one, two, three, or four, but sees Three and four. This is not one or two, so that's three or four. Um, hmm. Well, these are two, three, or four, but this is not four. Couldn't be four anyway, just because it would see double nines. This annoyingly, no, this can't be four because these would be double nines. So there's a four in here somewhere. And if there's a four in here somewhere, that's a three. Oops, a three. That's use one and three, so that's two and four, but it can't be a four because that would be double nine, so that's a two. This is next to a six, so it just has to be a one. You should have seen that already. Um, seven, eight, or nine, but this can't be seven because it sees a three. It can't be seven because it sees a three. This is uh, 
yeah, six, seven, eight, or nine, but can't be seven. It can't be six. This can't be six, so that's eight or nine. It can't be six because that's not a one, and it can't be seven because of that seven. So then we have an eight, nine pair. Um, and this can't be six because that's not a one, so that's a seven. Tomatoes. Well, tomatoes. Happy holidays to the tomato launcher. Um, I guess I could think about that center column. I don't know if you're telling me to think about the center column, but we do have a lot of digits in the center column. It's true. It's a true and undisputed fact. We know that this is a uh, six or an eight. It's not an eight or, wait, sorry. It's not, it's definitely not. It's a six or a four. Six is not here. Six is not. I guess no. Six isn't here. So, Terry Dart, how's it going, buddy? Happy holidays to you. So this is not a six because that would be a one, and this is not a six because six is not low. None of these are six, so it just seems like this has to be a six and this has to be a four. One might assume. It's definitely a four in here. And it's not here. So what does that mean? Because this means that's the one. That is an eight nine pair. In here, what are you? You see a six and an eight, so that's a seven or a nine. But for this to be a seven, it would have to be next to a one or two, which is not available. So that is a nine. Six. A nine. Oh, terrier darts. Oh, terrier darts. How lovely are your branches? Um, I need a as a as as a as an authority on uh, the British accents, terrier darts. I might need your help in uh, getting to the bottom of something. Or not even just like accent, like manner of speaking. I might need your uh, I might need your expertise to help me to crack a code. So we have five, nine, four, four, five, nine. Well, I've already broken the puzzle. How did I break the puzzle already? How did I already break the puzzle? That's a sad story. How did I already break it? How did I already break the puzzle? Oh boy. And I don't even know when or where I broke it. Great. I don't know how far to back up. That's sad. That's sad. How is it broken? I had nowhere to put a nine in this row. There needed to be a nine in here. Okay, let's take a few steps back. I feel like I just, I got a little breezy at a certain point. So, let me just cool it a little bit. Try a different tack. To take a different tack, different tactic. This is not a six. It's not a seven, it's not an eight. So that is a nine. Which un-nineifies this, which sixifies this, which fourifies this. And now we have two, four, and eight here, which sixifies this. I probably just did something incredibly silly. So we're missing four and five here. But we seem to already have enough low digits here that this can't be four. That has to be five. And this is a three, four pair. I probably should have thought about that already since these are just so blindingly in my face. One of these has to be a six and it can't be here. So the only way to make a six work in this box, six could never be here. Six could never be here. 
Six could never be here, so I think this has to be a six. This is what I probably should be thinking about. I think I'm making a mockery of this puzzle as usual. Um, that puts the four over here, which means that's the five. And according to Terry Dark rules, fives must be black or gray. So it's just simply a requirement. Um, three, four. So we, are, we have another high digit here. Which sounds good to me. Um, this row, we need to place the five and then one of each. Um, this is an eight or nine, because the seven's already placed. We get an eight, nine pair here. Guess we could color these given high digits and these given low digits, and this five. Seven, eight, nine. So neither of these can be eight. <clears throat> so this is an eight. So these are seven, nine pairs. Skojo, how's it going? Skojo, I'm worried that, that I'm stealing your streaming spot. Did I steal your streaming spot? I apologize if I did. I try to always check. I mean, not that... Thank you. Not that anyone cares when I stream Sudoku because I'm just an amateur and you're pro. Working all day today. Is it is uh is it a big day for escape rooms? Do you get a lot of families that come to argue? How uh how were your holidays? So we're going to call this a three, and I already screwed up this puzzle, surprising nobody. Is it... That kind of makes sense. Is it families? Is it like families just desperate for something to do? Or what's... Uh, what, what do you think leads to the, the busyness? So... Okay, somehow I've flipped the seven and nine here, so hopefully this puzzle's not broken anymore. So we have four, five, nine, and this sees four and nine, so it's only five. Also, there's just a one lurking up here. I should probably think a little bit. That means this has to be a two. Great, I broke the puzzle again. I broke the puzzle again! I don't even have the excuse of being distracted. I see. Escape room gift cards. Um, I broke the puzzle again. How did I do that? The puzzle's extremely broken. I feel like I should restart this. I feel like I just was not paying enough attention when I started this puzzle. I think my brain was just not ready. I'm just gonna restart it. I'm just gonna restart it. It was silly. I'm just being silly. I should spot things like this early on. Um, like, there's lots of things that we can just see immediately. Like, this has to be a one. Um, and that this can only be... Whenever, well, it can't be one, and it can't be four, so this has to be two or three. Um, but this is more what I was thinking about. Like, this seven, this has to be a one-two pair. So I'm going to try to think about this in a more sensible way, and just actually think about the numbers that I have, instead of doing whatever it, whatever it is I was doing. This three means this has to be an eight, nine pair. Um, we have seven, eight, nine already there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we did learn some things, right? Like the fact that these, this is high, low, high, low. So these are definitely low. So I, that, that was worth thinking about. And these are low, high, low, high, low. These are definitely low. So that is all our low digits here. And these are low, high, low, low, high, low, high. So these are definitely high. And these are definitely high. So it's all our high digits in the box. Ooh, okay. I'm ready. I thought this puzzle was going to be quick and easy, and then I just wasn't paying attention. I think we still have the question of where six can go in this box. Six can't go here. Six can't go here. Six can't go here. I think six goes here, and we get double one there. And we get double two here. That's funny. 
and a three here, which means this can only be a nine. <clears throat> and we have one, two, and three, so this can only be a four, so this is only a nine. I think if you pay attention, this puzzle is much more fluid than if you don't pay attention. So I recommend, no, I broke, wait, sorry, broke this already. Sorry, 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 not here. It's here and here is one. I'm still not paying attention. That's one, these are both two. That makes this a two and this a one, a three. Hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-low, hi-low. Are you gonna set it? You just confused me by calling a Sudoku puzzle a Doku. Is that a, do people say that? Do people say, hey, check out my new Doku? Cause that's weird. Um, oops, this, these are low, but this is high. Cool people do, are you sure? I, I, I do have to admit, I don't know much about what cool people do. So this just reflects, we just have like reflected polarity. Is that true? Polarity reflection? Means this is high. So that's not <clears throat> could be seven annoyingly. You people are monsters. You couldn't I saw I've I've solved puzzles you've set. I've seen them with my own eyes. This is not a seven, that's an eight nine. Um I've seen it my own too this is seven eight or nine but not um that's not a nine and then this gets tricky because i this couldn't be a seven because then this would have to be one or two and it just couldn't be just couldn't happen um doesn't that also mean that this couldn't be a seven because this would have to be a one two pair so this is eight nine so that's eight nine pair so this is the seven so this is a two I feel like I'm just not paying close enough attention again. Um, this could not be a four because that would be double nines. This can only be eight nine to be next to a three because it's an eight nine pair. The six then, this is low by the way. Um, six has to go in this box somewhere and it's not here or here so would appear that that's a six. Helio, how's it going? I'm doing your puzzle. And uh, we're gonna pretend that I didn't do a bad job of it and screw up earlier and that this is a fresh start. Fresh as the daisy. Um, I definitely didn't um, uh, break the puzzle while chatting. Definitely didn't do that. In fact, I can barely even blame it on that because Terry had only been here for a moment, but I'm still gonna blame it on that. Um, so, uh, seven, it's gotta go somewhere. Looks like that's gotta be a seven. So we've ended up with a different configuration yet again. This is the third different configuration I've had for these digits. Um, the problem is I was, I was lulled into a false sense of security because I was like, oh, look at all these given digits. This puzzle must be a cakewalk, I don't even need to use my entire brain at all. Um, but it turned out I did need to use my entire brain at all. Um, five, four, five, seven. And then both sevens are there. So probably seven has to go here. You have a four, five pair. Oh, mom tried it. Yeah, it's, it's, I like it. It's very smooth. It's breezy. I'm enjoying it. The problem is, is I just was like treating it too casually. I wasn't, I wasn't giving it the attention it deserved and made some silly frivolous mistake, which, you know, that's, that's kind of, it's very on brand for me. So far, I don't think I've broken it again, but there's still plenty of time for me to break this puzzle. There's so many high digits here. 
Eight nines up there. Three is up there. So this is this is the four because this could only be two, four, six, or eight, and we see all of those digits. So that's the four, the five, the four. That's very cute that your mom tested your puzzle. Adorbs. It did. I was ambushed. It's well. It's actually more like. I think you're you're giving me too much credit saying that I was in the car. It's more like I was the lawyer in the uh in the toilet. It's a, it's a slightly more apt description of what happened. Um I watched the video recently for the Weird Al uh Jurassic Park parody. Still holds up. Still good. Um this must be a 6 because we have 248. And then we have two six eight, so this must be a four. So a four must be down here. That seems seems okay. We have five nine here, so this must be the five and this the nine. Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. All the dinosaurs are running wild. This is the this is the spitter, right? The spitter dinosaur. I feel like Jurassic Park had all these cute nicknames for things. This is one that spits in Nedry's face, yeah. And the little, the really little guys they called Compies, which sounded so cute until they devoured Hammond alive. They didn't do that in the movie, right? Nobody ate uh, Hammond. Hammond didn't get eaten, eaten alive in the movie. Oh, Skojo, that's adorable. Okay, these are odd. And this one sees one and seven and five and nine. One, three, five, seven, nine, so it can only be three. So now this sees one, three, seven, nine, so it can only be five. Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. All the dinosaurs are running. Wild. Someone let T Rex out of its pen. That um, that one's a weird one, just because I feel like the underlying song has been forgotten now. Whatever, something. I can't even remember the name of the original song. I just remember someone left the cake out in the rain. But uh, the, the parody has outlived the original in my mind. So we need a one, five, nine. All the dinosaurs are running wild. Someone let T-Rex out of its pen. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's an eight. Um, okay. We got a little bit of thermo left, so this is a two. Houston's got the Oilers, the greatest football team. I don't know why this beat is reminding me of the Houston Oilers theme song. The best football theme song of all time. Um, this is... Got, uh, got, it's not a six, so this just has to be an eight. Is that true? Appears to be a one. This beat also reminds me of the Home Ro Homestar Runner, uh, the Fuhugu Gods song. It said, ooh, ah, Fuhugu Gods. It said, ooh, ah, Fuhugu Gods. Everybody to the limit. The cheat is to the limit. It's a, it's a good one. It's classic. Homestar Runner, light years ahead of its time. Um, this looks to be. Like this looks to, this we have two four eight, so this is just a six. And now we have six four eight, so this is just a two. Um I mean American football. Which I understand the confusion, 
but it's right there in the lyrics. Houston's got the Oilers, the greatest football team. They take the ball from goal to goal like no one's ever seen. They're in the air, they're on the ground, always in control. And when you're talking Houston, you're talking Super Bowl. Cause we're the Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers, Houston Oilers number one. Houston Oilers no longer exist. Um, I think they moved to Tennessee and renamed the Tennessee Titans. Massive, this is wrong. Massive downgrade. Massive downgrade. Tennessee Titans don't have a fun theme song. Um, we need, what, two, three pair up here? That's the three, that's the two. Look at that. Very pleasant puzzle indeed, Helio. Yeah. You use your hands to play football, of course. It's just like soccer. You know, sock means to punch with your hands, but you use your feet. Doesn't make any sense. Soccer for feet? What? What? Hey, Leo, did you say this was on Logic Masters or no? Is it on there? <clears throat> Oopsie. Wait, what have I done? I can't open a new window. What? That was weird. You haven't put it there yet? Okay. That means I have to do the ridiculous... You're forcing me to do this. That means I have to do this ridiculous thing. Doing something ridiculous. Truly ridiculous. Taking a picture of my screen like an elderly person. Skojo, I would like to do that thermo puzzle. Wait, is that true? Wait, socks? It's because oh, it's because of wearing socks. I misunderstood. Um, it... Zipular. Uh, let's see. Skojo's on Logic Masters. Okay. Is there? Are you Skojo solves? Yeah, you're just you're just Skojo. Here we go, Skojo. I don't know why I took, this is not you. Oh, this is, it took me to Helio's puzzle when I searched for you. That's pretty funny. Why are we, we're struggling with Skojo here. Why can't, what is wrong? Okay. Which one, counting thermos? Which one? <clears throat> Cascade. Oh, brand. Oh, it's a brand new. Oh, look at the beautiful simplicity of this. That means I'm going to screw it up. I love it. Such a simple grid. <clears throat> okay, well, we need to pick. Um, we need new wallpaper for this, obviously. I don't remember how to do this. What's appropriate puzzles for? I'm just gonna search for bulb. I'm gonna see how that goes. I feel like we've 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 had trouble with thematic. Oh, we got all these mandel bulbs. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Let's see this one. Beautiful. I think my computer is already angry. It didn't give me the warning. Uh oh. Am I still streaming? Did I freeze my computer? Uh oh. Let's just do a little refresh in here. Oh no. Try again. Okay, I think we're okay. It's pretty good. Okay, let's do this puzzle. By Cascade by Skojo. Restart. Let's do it. Okay. Normal Sudoku. Okay. So that's just, that's it. Nothing fancy here.
Oops. Um. Seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. Is that right? There's a better way to do this. Eight, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. This is it's getting less attractive now. Seven, six, five, four. I love it. It's so it's so elegant. It almost looks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's it's like evoking circuitry in my mind. Oh gosh, has anybody done that? Uh, like a like a like a functioning circuit, <laughs> a functioning circuit in uh, with thermos. These look like circuits. Or like, what are the ones with circles on both ends, like the in between lines? Um, or you could do like some kind of PCB layout in your in your puzzle. Um, okay, well. I should probably actually think about this. So those are high-ish. They're all pretty high-ish digits. These are all low-ish. So what's the right way to think about this? Feels like there's gonna be some relationship between these and I'm trying I feel like I'm already making this harder than it should be like I'm trying to find some some magical interplay like this these two digits see a whole lot of this thermo this digit sees a whole lot of this thermo an astonishing amount of thermometer So, so this can't be more than six. I'm just thinking about high digits around here. But maybe that's not worth. That's the right thing to think about. Houston's got the Oilers, the greatest football team. Just thinking about high digits in this column. But nine can sneak out like a little bandit, like a little creep. Nine could be there or there. Eight could be there, there, or there. Seven could be there, there, or there. But we're not, it's just not quite, right? It's not quite restrictive enough. They take the ball from goal to goal like no one's ever seen. Maybe I should look at the most restricted one. How's that sound? Um, Not annoyingly, it could still be seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh! Now that you said this was one or two stars, now I'm suddenly paralyzed um, with fear. So that could not be more than seven.
but nine can go all over the place. I like the restrictiveness of this. But I feel like it's just like one degree not restricted enough, right? Like to have the, um, uh, well, this is not seven, eight, nine. Because if this was seven, eight, or nine, then this would be, if this was literally seven, eight, nine, this would be broken. Right? So one of those digits has to escape to here. That true? I can feel myself making this too hard. I can feel it happening to my, it's like, This also can't be seven, eight, nine, but there's just room to escape. Now I'm getting self-conscious. Okay, so in low land, I mean, it's interesting the way this layout works, where there's just one more degree of freedom. I guess that's true with these as well, right? Each of these has progressively one more degree of freedom, and each of these progressively has one more degree of freedom. That's kind of interesting. So nine is either here or here. Eight, seven could go there. This one is really interesting because if I mm -hmm. a technique that's pretty important uh, that I'm totally overlooking that I'm just completely uh, do I need to be summing these? Okay, come on, come on, come on, brain. You've done puzzles before. No math needed. Okay, what, what technique am I, uh, am I missing here? Okay, let's just think through this for a second. Okay, so I can see the the increasing freedom going there. I can see the decreasing freedom going here. So this is a very constrained line, and of the lower lines, this is the most constrained line. Um, is it about... Is it this? These... Where are these three digits in this column? Hmm. Where are these three digits in this column? These three digits are definitely not these three digits because they're bigger than that. And these three digits are definitely not these three digits because they're in the same box. So these three digits are these three digits and they are those three digits in that order. So even further, like,
Is that true? And then some something's going on over here. These digits are here. And that means these three digits are not these three digits or these three digits. So these three digits, whatever, these three digits are here. And here. And these three digits are here and here. So these two digits are the same digit. Oops. We did it, great. Roping, beautiful roping. Are we roping everywhere? Are all these gonna rope? Let's investigate. Um, but I don't know where this digit is over here. It's just somewhere. Somewhere in that land. So how do we... Okay, well, I feel like we understand that now. So let's just color the ropes first, maybe. These are definitely the same digit. That's uh So these are comparatively low. And these are high-ish. These are low-ish. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna get really confused with my colors here. So these are here. Here. Orange, 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 yellow, yellow, yellow. I was trying to decide if I could like resolve the uh, I'm sure I will be able to, but and he's gray. I probably don't really need to color this, but the main important thing to remember is that I want to color this. So these are pretty high. I mean, this just translates directly to here, right? Because these digits just do this. Is that true? This is just four, five, five, six, because that's the only way it could work. The order still has to be maintained. And that means the lowest of these digits is here, right? Is that true? It's not. I don't think that's necessarily true. It could be. That could be a, a falsehood. Like, well, there's no nine in here. So there's no nine here, right? There's no nine in here at all. So there's no nine in here at all. Is that true? Yeah, you could never have a nine in here. 
So there's no nine in here. So this just is, so that just gives us this whole thing. And that removes a degree of freedom from here. We know there's a seven and an eight in here, which have to be, so there's definitely an eight and only that could be eight. There's definitely a seven and only that could be seven. So this is then five or six. Did I screw up? Wait, oh no, my roping in the center three is wrong. You're right, it's completely wrong. Oops. How did I manage that? Why am I like this? How could I do something so obviously wrong? Why, why have I done this? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Um, 24 and five. Uh, nudges are very helpful. You can also, if you're on desktop, you can click this, the, uh, uh, the stream and throw tomato. Yeah, the roping is obviously extraordinarily wrong. Just super duper wrong. How do I, how do I do these things to myself? What is wrong with me? I feel like in my normal life, I am a very meticulous person. And then somehow on stream, it just collapses. It just, it just falls away. Um, okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I, I said, what an embarrassment. What a, what an embarrassment. Roping is not a hard concept when you're visually coloring it. And I have, uh, failed. So there's a bunch of high digits. Here. So these digits are these digits, right? Is that fair to say? Did I get the roping right this time? I think I did. Um, so that nine logic was dumb logic, but it does mean there's a nine in here, right? Because there's no nine here or here. So there is a nine in here. Okay, I apologize. Skojo, why, do, why am I like this? What have I done? Why do I do this? <laughs> and this, this digit just is this digit. Okay, and then these are very low, so let's try this again. Um, this digit is just this digit, so all that's left here is 7, 8, 9. So this just is 7, 8, or 9, right? There's not another thing these could be. So there is a high digit missing. which is gonna come from one of the oranges. The other part of the seven, eight, nine, it's actually one of these is, is nine. So the other half of this is a seven, eight pair. So then the other half of the seven, eight pair. Okay, I'm gonna say this and then it's probably gonna be wrong, but let's just say it real fast. Um, Skojo is leaving me. <clears throat> so we're saying there's definitely nine up here. Is that true? Yeah, because there's no nine in here and there's no nine in here. So there's definitely a nine in here and it's definitely not there. So there's certainly a nine here. This low digit translates here. So doesn't that mean there's definitely a nine here? There's no nine here. So there's no nine here. No nine there. There's definitely a nine in here. It's not there. This digit is this digit. So there's definitely a nine in here. Does that seem true? Does that seem like a true statement? And then the other half of the seven, eight pair has to be in here. Is that true? Okay. I don't know what to call you. 24 and five. Do I call you Anne? Ein? Hello, Dorlir Ameti. I'm so bad. I've suddenly lost all ability to even pronounce anything. Um, hello, how's it going? 
Okay, so sorry. We're, I've, I've, I've fallen fully off track here. I'm, I've shook myself by bad coloring. So we just need to think about this more. So these are low-ish. 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 We did get our nine here, which was not as constrained as we had hoped previously. Um, um, so what do we need to do? These are low-ish. What does that actually help us with? So this is a nine and then there's a seven, eight. And then the other half, the seven, eight pair is down here. Um, sorry, I just got an unpleasant message. 24, okay, we'll go 24. Okay, there's no nines. Or eights. So eight and nine are in blue in this land. I don't know how helpful that is, really. Well, okay. One is in red. Is that true? Ah, it's not, because that could still be one. Interesting. Eight. Seven, six. This couldn't be six. Right, because that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, and that can't be nine. So that puts the six down here with a seven, eight. So we do have a six in range, which I don't feel like is a surprise to anyone. We have the other half of the seven, eight pair here. Maybe this one, two, three, four. So there's gonna be another digit from one, two, three, four, five in here. So this is six with a seven or eight, and then two, three, four, or five in here, I guess. One and two together probably would be wise, right? Because um, but you could still have a two, six, seven here, for example, if this was a one. One of these is a pretty dang low digit, right? One, two, three, four, five. So this digit is from one, two, three, four, or five. So it's not six, right? Because we have to round out the rest of our one, two, three, four, five, and this is low. This, this is obviously not six because we know there's a seven, eight in here. So that is the six, and this is the other half of the seven, eight pair. So I guess that's a five and that's a four. Three, two, one. That means this is a one, two, three, triple, and this is a one, two, three, triple. Um, does that seem right? Possibly, maybe. This is obviously not a one. And this is definitely not a five. We lost the one up here, so this it, that is the one. Not one, not two, not three, not one. Did I screw it up? Oh, I see. You were thinking about where to stick the one, two. So we get two, three, four, five here. So this is seven, eight. Well, who else is left over here? That's a nine with the seven, eight. This is just one. Okay, that's just the one. You're not one. So one's in here. Um, I know I'm missing something obvious. What is it? That's the seven, eight pair. We have this quadruple. So two, three, four, five are gonna live in here. So who's over here? So two and three are definitely red, right? Oh, right, okay, obviously there's no two or three in here. So this is just five, right? 
So we get four, three, two, oops, two. So this becomes a, a two, three, four triple. This becomes a two, three, four triple. And that's not four, oops, because of this. I like this puzzle. It is interesting what is emerging from these ropes. Agreed. Interesting. Okay, it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to go through uh, uh, some ridiculous way of doing things. It's just... <laughs> so this is a... One... We don't know what the other half of this pair is still, do we? Annoyingly. The two, three, four. We know that. That's five, six with... Well, we know four is not in here. It's five, six, seven, or five, six, eight. Maybe we've kind of exhausted this, this line. Okay, but there's definitely a four here. And the thermo is just going to force that, right? Am I missing extremely obvious things now? Probably. Um, so one, two, three, triple. It's four, five with six or seven. Oh, wait, orange is solved? Oh, because, oh, right, interesting. That is interesting, right? Because this is a seven, there's a nine with a seven, eight pair. So you're right, we can't have seven and eight on this. Because if this, for this to be nine, I guess you could still get away with that, actually. But if you try to put a 7 here, if you try to put a 7 here, you have to have 8, 9. And that would make that a 7, 8 pair, and that would break this, right? If I put 7 here, this breaks. So this has to be 6. Is that what we're, what we're arriving at? So we get the 5, 6. We have that 7, 8 pair. We still don't have it disambiguated that. This is seven, eight, so that's not seven. So that's eight, nine. One, two, three. This is not one, two, or three. And this is not, could be three. Well, where does one go here? This is not one, because there's no one in here. This is not one, because it's on a thermo. This is obviously not a one. Not a one, not a one, not a one. This is not a one, and that's not a one. So this is one. Sorry, I see the, I see them, I see, I see the tomatoes flying. But I feel like I have some momentum, so forgive me. Forgive me for not paying close attention to the tomatoes. Um, our one is over here. Six, seven. I, I'm, I, of course, I'm missing obvious things. No question. Um, this low digit. So these two low. Right, we had said that that these digits are the same. Right? Didn't we say that? I think we said that. Um, because this, whatever this digit is, is not here. So those are the same. So that's just eight, nine. So one has to go here. Is that what we're deciding? Is that true? And then two also has to go here. Does that seem true? And then this becomes one, two, 
So that's one, two with an eight, nine, one, two with an eight, nine. So this is gonna also be one, two, eight, nine. And the C's one, two, so that's eight. One, two, that gets the seven, six, five, four, three. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's a nine, by the way. Um, this So this just translates directly to six, seven, nine. That gives us eight here. These digits become, well, that just is three, four, five which we sort of know the order of three, four, five, but this sees four, five. So that's three, four, five. This is a three, four, five, which again, we have three, four, five. That's the eight. And then we have six, seven, nine here, six, seven, nine. Um, so we lost the eight here and the seven here, but we still haven't disambiguated that oh yes we have so that it's a seven that's in there that's an eight nine seven so that's one seven nine one seven nine um oranges are five six eight five six eight that's not eight that's not five that's not one so this is the one that is a two a three a four that is a two a three uh, four, two, three, fours all the way down, five, seven, eights. I mean, a two here and a three here and a three here, two, one. So we get our one, two, three ropes. Um, we could probably just do Sudoku one of these days. Uh, nine. This is the other half of the six. Oh, did I make a mistake? What did I do? Did I make a mistake? Oh, no, I broke. What did I do? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Thanks for telling me you're totally right. That is a nine. Or it's not a uh, eight. Sorry, thanks for catching that. Oh wait, I broke that even earlier. Where was that? Oh no, I broke that a long time ago. How long ago did I break that? Years? Wait, how uh, how far back did I break it? Row one, column one, I broke it all the way back there. Did I really? How did I do that? Oh yeah, because that could have been a nine. Wow, that's amazing. I broke it that badly. That is a very impressive. Okay, that's okay. I mean, I'm impressed with how badly I broke it. You're totally right. Why would I have done that? I don't know. I don't know. It's because I just get in some some chatty narration zone. Okay, but the one, twos, and threes we were happy with, I think. I knew there was a nine in there. Four, three, two. So those we're happy with. Happy with some of those things. Okay, don't break everything is my advice. Just generally speaking, if you're gonna do Sudoku, don't break every single thing. So it's one, two, eight, nine up here. One, two, eight, nine up here. That's where I screwed up. What an embarrassing mistake. Um, so we need seven in here. Seven can't go there. Wait, did I mess up again? Did I did I did I make another terrible mistake? <laughs> um maybe I should just do the Sudoku. Three, that's four. Three, four, five, six. So that's seven, eight, nine. Um Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Puts the eight, nine in here. Okay, I got. I, I'm, 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 I'm slightly tilted. I'm just gonna be a second to recalibrate my, my brain a little bit. Um, right. So we had one, two, eight, nine here. But if this is nine, this breaks. Right. The only way for this to be 
No, that's not true. If this is eight, this breaks. If this is eight, this is nine and this break breaks. So that's seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, are we happy with that? And then six, seven, I have to go on here with an eight or a nine. So that's six, seven, and then an eight or a nine. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. And this is a three, five pair. Is that true? And that's Gipsy. That's three, that's five. I apologize, everyone. Falling apart. Um, right, so that is eight or nine. Six, seven with the eight or nine. Six, seven with the eight or nine. One, two with the eight or nine. This is just the three, four, five, which is already restricted. Okay, five, four, three. This is six, seven, eight, or nine. This is just some digit that is a eight. And this is just seven, eight, or nine. Not eight, not eight. Not seven, not seven. So we get an eight, nine pair there. Oops, not seven. You are also six, seven, eight, eight, nine, annoyingly. Also just, that has a six, just seven, eight, nine, right. Is that eight? These are high-ish. Okay, I know I'm driving everyone crazy. I apologize. I know everyone's losing their mind together. Um, okay, so what are we actually what are we actually doing here? just some extremely obvious Sudoku thing I'm missing now. I was just seeing if this did something weird, like if this is eight, then this is nine. So this is nine and this is nine. Is that true? If I make this an eight, if I make this eight, then this is nine. And this is nine. But this digit is this digit. So that would be nine. So I think that has to be a seven. So that means that's a seven. And that's an eight. Nine. Eight. I'm just, there's probably an easy way to see that. Okay. How bad is it now? Eight, six, seven, eight, no nine in there. That seems better than it was previously when I broke the entire universe. It's just become a tradition now. I haven't streamed Sudoku very regularly lately, regularly lately, and I feel like I like try to move at a speed that I want to move at, even though I'm very out of practice, and then I just make really silly mistakes. But oh well. Five, six, seven. I have to keep everyone on their toes. Stream would be boring if I just did the puzzle without any mistakes. Oops. Seven, eight, nine. It is, I do feel like the last few streams I've made a lot of very silly mistakes. But hey. I love this. Love it. Skojo, that was great. Thank, and thanks, everybody. And again, always, as always, thanks for your patience when I make ridiculous mistakes. Um, I love this. I love this, uh, uh, like, entropy. Secret entropy.
That definitely had... Um... Yeah, it is very nice. It's a, it's a very... Um, right? Like, then these kind of... There's something very pretty about it. It is... It is it's a very satisfying looking grid. Oh, really? Interesting. I loved it. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break. Maybe I'll try to do one more puzzle. Maybe one more puzzle. This is Skojo's. This is Skojo, who's in the chat right now. Let's enter the solution while we're at it. See if my cut and paste thing works. Am I logged in? Yes. Okay, solution code is row nine. Thank you for having a single row solution. Does that actually work? Let's say it was average and very nice. Oh yeah, it was on Logic Masters. What is this? What is this four star 99%? Am I going to lose my mind if I try this? Will this make me cry? Is this going to make me a very sad person? I don't know if I have it in me. I couldn't even do this one star puzzle properly. I don't know about this four star puzzle. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take a short break. I'll be right back. Wait a minute, this one grid has all of those? Wait, what? There's modularity in every stack of three vertically, entropy in every line of three horizontally, roping, disjoint, king's move, and rotational symmetry? What? What what is this what is this insane grid? Wait, all of those things are true? Well, I see modularity. I see. 81 that's not true terry you're you're are you out of practice like i am i'm so out of practice i feel like 
Not that I was ever especially good, but I feel like when I was doing puzzles constantly, I just made fewer mistakes. There's something I was just thinking about. I think there's like a, like, you know, in developing software, I don't worry about doing everything right the first try. I just like breeze through and make mistakes and then go back and fix. But, uh, wait, what happened to, what just, Irish John Games gave me a shout out. Thanks, Irish John Games. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy making, uh, too busy making mistakes. Anyway, I was just thinking, like, it's, it's, it's this interesting thing in software development where, like, you make mistakes all the time and you just go back and fix them. Not, not quite the same in, uh, in Sudoku. What? Skojo, is there one of these I should tackle? You have a, you have a suggestion? I says that I, Irish John Games gave me a shout out 11 minutes ago to 39 viewers. I don't know why, but I appreciate it. Looking at these one stars. Look at this. It's just no quads here. Are you lurking? Wait, did you cause it? Did you do it? Wait, did I do? Look at this. I love the look of this. Have I done this? I don't think I've done this puzzle. I'm going to do this one. I like the look of it. Oh, we need new, uh, we need a new background. I forgot how. What would be a good, no quads here. I don't know what we're going to get if we search for quads. Oh, is you? You did it? Aw, shucks. Thanks, Terrier. I don't know if we're going to find... Uh... We actually think there'd be more interesting things just from quads. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jelly quads. But they're, they need interaction. I don't know. Surely there's cool stuff with boxes. That's pretty. Wow, it's too so fast. Shader error. That's one of my favorite shaders. Oh, well, shucks. Is Irish on using heat right now? Heating it up. Box factory. That's cool. Let's do this. Sometimes just because something looks cool, it's not good wallpaper, but let's just try it. Okay, so. Um, I like the look of this. Let's restart. I like V's. V's are some of my favorite. You know, they're always paired with X's. But do love a V. I, I like V's, black Kropke dots. Just a big fan. I love the way V's interplay with X's. 
Everybody loves that. So, this Ren Ban definitely has one, two, three, and four on it. So, this must be five, six, or seven. Right? This Ren Ban has one, two, three, and four on it for sure, because there's two Vs. So, it has five, six, and seven on it because it has to. There's no five on an X, so that's a six or a seven. So that is a four or a three. Is that true? Are these all true statements? I'm gonna make these blue just because I want to. That means that this polarity, it means these are not low because that would be a problem. So those are high and this is low. And we get a digit. Does that seem true? Does that seem to be true? It is true. Um, this, this is kind of interesting. Look how these are going to work out. Three or four. Hmm. Um, well, we know that this is not a four. That would be double nine. Well, what else do we know? I feel like there's more to, to learn in this here box. <clears throat> there's just an interesting interplay between these two digits. Like if this is a one, then this is a four, and this is a two, three pair. There's just something Interesting there. What? Well, I feel like I'm failing to see. This is an eight nine pair. Skojo, I'm liking it. I just love the way it looks so far. Just it's basically love at first sight. It's got X's, it's got V's, it's got German Whispers, it's got very long Ren Bands. What else? What more could I ask for, really? Five, six, seven. One of these is a five. Um, speaking of fives. That's a five. One of these is a five. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? What else? If this was high, low, high, low, high, low, high, we'd have too many high digits, right? High, 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 high would be four highs, and we already have a high here because we know we have a low here because of the V. I think these are low, and that means these are all high. Oh, awesome! On a fundraising stream. How did I miss this? I need to watch some of your setting videos just to someday be able to set a puzzle, which I keep threatening to do. So... Well, let's just think about some of these. Um, superficially, one, two, three, four. And superficially, six, seven, eight, nine. But this is not a six because we would have double one. This is not a four because we'd have double nine. This is not a six because we'd have double one. This is not a four. This is not a six. 
since this can't be a six, this can't be a four. So that's one, two, three. So that's also just seven, eight, or nine. I like how German whispers and X's uh, hang out with each other. This is pretty weird. Well, these two digits are just the same digit, right? Is that what we're deciding? Oh, right. But, so, okay, yeah, of course, of course. So are we obvious things on the German Whisper? It wasn't true over here, but it is true over here. <laughs> if this is a seven, then this is a three, and we've broken the German Whisper, right? So that's not a seven, and that's not a three. And that's gonna be tr here true as well. If this is a seven, then this is a three. So that's not a seven, that's not a three. That means that this is just is a seven. Also means this is a six and a one, and you're a seven, and that's a one, two pair. So these are not one or two. So these are three, four pairs, which is fine because one of those is gonna be a nine. That's a one, two pair. That is a, That just is a seven, but it's just is a three, which forces these. I got scared for a second that this was a German Whisper and it was broken, but it's not a German Whisper. So that's not a three. If this is not a four, this is not a one. If this is not a four, this is not a one. That is not a six. You're not a six and you're not a six. So that is a five, oops, a five, seven pair. It's a one, two, three, triple. One of these is a three, which we already know one of those is going to be a two. That's seven, eight, or nine also. You are not a six. You are not a one. If you're not a one, you're not a four. There's a low digit, by the way. <clears throat> okay, so we have four in here somewhere. But could it be on the rim band? If it was on the rim band, it would have to be four, five, six. Which is maybe fine. is definitely over here. There's definitely one here, so then there's also definitely a six here. And the six can't be in the middle. Oh yeah, I was thinking about this again. Wait, that's not true. There's not automatically a six. That's not true at all. There's definitely a one here. We don't know that there's a six here yet. Because six could be here. Sorry about that. Is there anything else we know is over here, though? I don't think so. We just know there's a one over here. Which is not super helpful at the moment. There's three of our lows there. Um... So this is high, but there's no five on this line. So if this was an eight, this would have to be five, six, seven, eight, but it can't be. So this I think has to be the nine and that has to be the eight. And this is eight, seven, six. Um, that means this is four, uh, three, two, but we can't have six four and we can't have seven three on the German whisper. So this is gonna be the eight two. There's no eight here. So there's a six seven pair. That's all of our high digits in the row. That means all these are low. Because this is high. This is high. This is low. Four, but this is not a two, 
This is not one or three. That eight sees this. That is not a two. If that's this is not a two, this is not a three. And if this is not a two, this is not a three. So this has to be one, four. So we just need a three in here somewhere. Okay, um, I was just thinking about nines. <clears throat> thinking about this rim band and nines in this land, really. So um, I can't put a nine here. There's no nine here. There's maybe a nine here, but there's not a nine here because it would require an eight on the rim band. And there's no eight here either. So one of these is a nine. Is that true? Let me say that one more time. If I put a nine in this rim band, there has to be an eight and that's broken. And there's no nine down here. So one of these is definitely a nine. So that's not nine. And if that's not nine, this is not one. If that's not one, that's not four. That becomes a two, three pair. So we get rid of the two, three pair here. So that's one, four. That becomes a two. A three makes this a seven, which is okay because it's not a whisper. That becomes an eight, nine pair. The three goes with a two. This is not two or four, so that's one or three. That's six, that's seven. Uh oh, did I make a mistake? Oh no, what did I do? Row nine, column eight. Why did this have to be nine? Probably because I made a mistake. Why did it have to be nine? Why did it have to be nine, Skojo? Why? Gosh, I don't know. I made that choice hundreds of years ago. Why did I decide that? Why did I decide that that had to be nine? Probably some silly reason that isn't true. Why did I decide that? Ah, okay. Well, I know what my thinking was and it was wrong. I know Oh, gosh. All I really meant to say was that there was a nine on this rim band, and I decided that it meant that this was a nine, which is not necessarily true, right? Because this, I knew that this rim band. Hang on, let me think of this for a second. If I put an eight here, and didn't have a nine, it would be eight, seven, six, five, and that would be wrong. So that was my thinking, but it just means there's a nine on here. It doesn't necessarily mean that that is the nine. So I think six, seven, eight, nine is still right, but that doesn't force this. It does still mean that this can't be six or seven, and that can't be one or two. That's an eight, nine pair, so that's not eight, nine. So that still seems correct. Okay, sorry. I thought I was being careful this time, but I wasn't. I wasn't being careful. Um, okay. We still get six, seven, eight, nine here. We still get six, seven pair in here. Um, I'm assuming that means I had this, this backwards, which sad. It's a sad story. Why am I so careless? What if I did a puzzle? I feel like every puzzle I've done recently, I've made some egregious mistake on stream. It's, it's kind of amazing how badly I've been doing. Um, okay, we had some meaningful things to say, though, right? About... About what? There's some meaningful meaningful things to say about this is not one, two, or three.
4789. Doesn't this have to be four, five, six? It definitely can't have one, two, or three on it. If it doesn't have a four on it, then it's five, six, seven, and that doesn't work, and eight, nine won't fit there. So I think that has to be true. Oh no, what did I do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Good grief. Should I just give up on Sudoku? I feel like there was a like a short stretch when I was I felt like I was improving. And then I just didn't do any puzzles for months. And now. What has happened? What is what has happened here? Thank you for pointing that out. I feel like I had a meaningful thing to say about like. OK, wait, this is still true. These are all still high. And this is still okay. So this still this still checks out. So I think a lot of that logic still checks out because a lot of that logic was just about the polarity of these or the logic after the error. So I think a lot of that actually still works, right? Because that these are still all low. That still forces this other polarity. Um, this still can't be a six. And we know, what do we know? We know there's a one over here. It's a thing we know. And a, and a three, so this is two, four. Skojo, what do I, what do I do? What do I do to make fewer silly mistakes? Um. Okay, so one of these is definitely a one. One of these is definitely a six. Yeah. I mean, these are both high digits. One of them is a six. Oh, right. These are the same. Okay, we, we did think about. These are the same digit. Does that matter to anyone? Does anyone care about that? Six is definitely over here somewhere. Right, so six is, well, I don't know if necessarily right. I don't know if that's a real, a real major discovery. I, I appreciate the, the, uh, the constellation. Okay, five is there. Five is over here somewhere. So, what do we think about this? This just has to be the other half of this 8-9 pair, right? That, that, that's all that's really available to us here. Because we have 4 and 6 here. We have 1, 2, 3. I think the, the this just is the other half of this 8-9. So that is all of our high digits. So 5 is up here along with another low digit, which is also 2-4. So that's two, four, or five. I, I'm just trying to think of this Ren Band's polarity, and it seems like it has to be high, right? Because I still have to place two more high digits. So one of these, one of them's going to land on here. And I don't have a five to get out of highness. So I think those are high and this is low. And then we have one of each here. Maybe that was an easier way to see that. Probably. And this is going to be sequential. So it's not seven, nine. So there's always an eight here. Is that true? So that means this is the nine. This is the one. That's not the nine. Oops. So we get a seven, eight pair. So this is the nine, the eight, the two, the eight, the nine. This is a six, seven pair. I think. Which means this has to be five or eight. 
and it's not eight. That is not an eight. That is not a nine. That is not a nine, so that's not a one. Okay, we're back to making some sense of this world. So this two, three has to go with a two, three. So that's not a four. So that is our two, three pair. That's gonna make this a one, four pair, right? So that's the one and that's the four. A two goes here. Three goes here, which goes with a seven, eight, nine. That is not two or four, so that's a one or three with a six or a seven. Well, we're saying that's a six, seven, which can't go next to a three. That's a five. That is a seven. There's no ones there, so two, three, four. That is the six. That's the seven. All these high digits, very exciting. We seem to need a one in here. <laughs> it's just, just chat being helpful. Just chat looking out for you. We used to have the Metal Gear. So we got to fix the bot one of these days. I, I don't know what to do. I'm going to do like, in the coming year. This is a four, six pair. There's no four here. So that would seem to say this is a two, three. Another five is there. Eight can't go next to a four. Nine can. That's not a four. So that is a two, five pair. So that's three, two, which seems okay. Four, that's three. Plus the two, that's the seven. Five, two, eight, seven. I, I really like the interplay of uh, German Whispers and XV. I think that is a that is a favorite. If that's not a two, that's not a three. That is a favorite of mine, I would say. Um, old standby. Okay, so. Well, oops, that's just one eight nine, right? I love that. I like that. Whispery X's. I do. I have to say, I like these a little more. That is so. But the way they, the interplay of them is always really nice. I, I like that, that. It's such a simple thing, but I, I feel like there's <clears throat> there's so much to be had, so much, so much joy to be had. Um. So I don't really know what I'm trying to arrive at here. It's a pretty dang constrained. Okay, if I put a nine on here, then I have to have an eight flanking it, and then that's gonna be double one. So one of these is a nine. If I have a one on here, then I'm gonna have two, three flanking. If I have eight on here, I already know the nine is over there. So I'm gonna have seven, six flanking. Four is a little annoying. As is the six. A six is even more annoying, actually. I don't know. I don't like this box. I'm not having a good time in that box. Um, we are missing. What? We need a two somewhere. 
in here. That's boring. Five is on this line. But so, yeah, four and five. And what else? <clears throat> six or three. Six is on this line. Four, five, six. This is just four, five, six. And that's not six. That's not four. That's not five. And so that leaves three goes down here. And that leaves two, nine, eight. It's not eight, it's not nine. Yes, we are. So we need um, six is over here. Where's the other? Oh, I guess we don't know. It's going to be eight or nine. So the other half of the eight, nine pair is in here. Which of you is high and which of you is low, little friend? because this is pretty dang constrained. But not as constrained as I want it to be. So, um, I'm just trying to decide if I can decide the clarity from this. This would have to be a one or three if this is a low. If it's a one, then that's lots of freedom here. There's already no six or seven on this, so it's eight or nine anyway. One is over here, three is over here, and eight or nine are over here. That's not one, that's not eight, that is not three or nine. For this to be eight, ugh. I don't know. They just don't know that yet. I mean, I'm sure there's some way for me to know that. Oh, I have an eight, nine pair here. So this just is a three. So this is one with an eight or one with a nine, not not the coolest. And this is two with an eight with a nine. That is the wrong color for that. Okay, but that is all of our high digits, right? So this is two, four, five. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm just missing something very silly, very obvious. <clears throat> that's a low with a high digit, that's a low with a high digit. It's the other half of the 8-9 pair. Oh, oh gosh! This is a Ren band. Well, I've known this forever. I've known this my entire life. These have to be sequential. So that's only going to be 2-3. Okay. That still can be eight nine, but that at least gives us the one, the nine. Okay. That feeling I was missing something extremely obvious, and it turns out it was. That's the one. That's the eight. So this cannot be a four next to an eight, nor a two, nor a three. So it's another one. 
That does put an eight there, nine, a one. So we have the eight on the Rin Ban, and there's no nine, so that's a six, seven. And this can only be a two or a three. It, it just is a two, three pair. That's all it can be. Um, and this is four, five. That's the four, the five, eight. We finally get our four, six pair disambiguated. This is going to be eight. This is four, eight pair. That's the four, that's the eight. This is, I guess, a four, five pair. That's the four, the five. Oops. That's the five, the four, I should say. Six, five, four. This column is missing a number. That is a seven. This row is missing a number. That is a six. And now we are missing a nine. We did it. I really like that. I like the interplay. That is like, this is one of my favorite kinds of combos. And I, I, I think that one of the things that I particularly like about it is that just alone. Thanks, Gojo. And thanks for setting this. The, I think Rin bands are one of my least favorite um, constraints just in isolation. Like a Rin band just on its own, I really don't like. Like, it's just not, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just not my favorite thing to think about. But a Rin Ban with like clever interactions or like a good interplay with other variants, I really like. And I feel like this had a very good balance of that. And that's a really cool thing that I'd never really quite considered of the, on a V, is that if this being a two cell Rin Ban or if it was a white, white Kropke dot, you're instantly limited to what it can be that's actually pretty interesting to think about just in terms of like um do, do people ever do puzzles that have parallel lines because I, I was just thinking about trying to set a puzzle that like say it had a german whisper going through here and like a rin band going through here i guess you could never have a, okay that, that's a bad example you couldn't have like parallel german whisper and red band but say it's like a like a region sum that goes this way but and a german whisper also going this way so that they'd be some of these cells would meet both of those constraints on a line simultaneously i know it's very silly that's something i should have seen immediately it's also one of those things that i that i like those equivalencies that um, like a two cell Rin Ban is effectively being a white Kropke dot. I kind of like the idea of, I mean, I guess in that case, you just wouldn't use lines. You'd use like a series of white Kropke dots along a line or something like that. Okay. I, I, I quite enjoyed that. Wow, I've done three puzzles in two hours. What a shock, instead of uh, one puzzle in three hours. It's a very, it's, it's kind of a new record for me. I think I'm gonna drop off. I'm gonna go work on, I'm gonna go work on uh, this, this thing. The enclosure for this, I've been working, I did a little 3D printed backpack here. So I have this cute little, the tape I did not fix very well. But this guy now has a cute little backpack. And I should be able to control my lights now. Hey Siri, stream. So I'm going to go into the shop today and do some CNC routing and some laser cutting, maybe some painting. And then I need to finish do the 3D printed interior and then that thing that will be done. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad I got to fill in a uh, a, a Skoja slot while you weren't wait, while you were working. Can't compete with you when you're on when you're streaming. Can't compete with that. Um, okay, we were doing no quads here. 
solution code row two. Love it. Love these single axis solutions. It's very nice. A very nice puzzle. Okay, I'm going to run. Skojo, thanks for stopping by. Terrier, it was lovely to see you. Everybody else who stopped by, Ein, I mean, 24, and Helio, and, and everybody else. Sorry if I'm missing anybody. I really appreciate it. And I am going to try to have a better streaming schedule, but, you know, life is, uh, you have to live it every single day. It's complicated. Okay, bye. Thank you.